Okay, so just basic polyfill. Whatever you use for your needle. Yeah, because I have just yarn out of the um, yarn stash. This is the only one. This one and this one are worsted weight. The others are at different weights. So, because I got to figure this out. I got a 525, which I'll probably use on the worsted. Anyway, a 5.0, a 5.5, and then because this yarn right here, and this one is really thin, I will have a 4 millimeter in case I decide to use that for my white. Because see, the 4 millimeter just like hooks real good. So, I'm going to start with this guy. For the feet, the feet are real easy. The key with this is really going to be to get your gauge right so that this doesn't poke through. So with the feet, you're just going to do your magic circle. And which one do I want? I want the. This is the five will work. <clears throat> And I'm not real good at the magic circle, so I'm just going to show you how I do it, which is I kind of like to have a job. So pull it through, and then this is where I have a hard time. So I just usually just like walk it. Watch me struggle. And then I always pull my thing through. Which movie did you put on? I don't think I've seen that one. Is that one of the Netflix like Hallmark ones? I think so. Okay, so however you do your magic circle or you can stitch two and then go back to your first stitch and do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put four single crochets in. So that was one. I'd have it done if I wasn't, you know, on the video. Hi, Henry. You gonna come help? Two. And this isn't a real big thing, so I'm just going to put four in there, and I'm going to pull it shut. I'm going to just find that first stitch. Part of it is hindered with, you know, I'm looking through the camera doing this because you can't really. Now, I'm not really going to do any serious counting for how many rows. I'm going to go by and, you know, anyway, this is Henry, by the way. Hi, Henry. Oh, nice, nice tail, Henry. Thank you, Henry. Oh, what a big tail you got. So. I'm just going to go in, pull up one, and then because he's small, you're just going to use single crochets because he's a chicken. I'm going to work in the back loop. So you're going to put two single crochets in the back loop. So I'm going to work in the back loop, and that way it will give it a little rib look. I'm going to put two single crochets in there. 
I begrudgingly went to a bigger hook because that hook was apparently, this isn't quite a four worsted weight yarn. It's a, it's actually a bamboo yarn that they had at Joanne's is what it is. Second stitch. So I got four. Pick up that back. And that's okay. So there's your six. And I would say you're just going to work. Now you'll go just like any other increase, you're going to go. I'm not going to do, keep going up, I guess I can, see I started it, so you'll just go in the back loop, join it with a slip stitch, chain up one, this is where you'd put your stitch marker in, I'm really bad about using them, so I'm going to chain up one, and because the rule crochet working in the round, you're going to go back in that stitch, so that's your first one not the chaining up the and then that's where I joined it together on the last round so I'm gonna go oh, I did that doesn't matter probably wouldn't have that probably if you slip stitch because you did one single in that first one so now it's two and then one two And I actually like this size, so this is going to be my last increase. I'm probably going to do two more rows. Okay, so. Remember, go back in that one, so you got one. You can look for it if you put your ship marker in there. It's not a big deal. I'm just going one in each one until I get it to about this high on my thumb. So I'm just going to pause it while I work it. And it's just in the back loops. And I'll see you back here in a second.